Hello, and one of my first videos I ever did was on how to, on rather saying that there wasn't that much good free web hosting out there. Well, recently I found 000webhost.com and they offer all the technologies you need to um, start up any website including compatibility with the most advanced content management systems that will allow you to build in you whatever functionality you want to your site so the, these are advanced web hosting they're, they're not crippled it offers um php mysql and ftp and the 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 familiar C panel control panel which is familiar to a lot of people. Um so what what you're gonna need to do is go to zero 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 webpost dot com um and click sign up and then it'll ask you it'll ask you to um type in a website address here just do that and fill out all the information even if you want a dot com um website just fill that in and then watch the next video that will be coming up soon on how to get your own free dot com domain name um but for now just um put a website address in in there and then you can start editing your site and then put the other stuff in later um so i'm just well once you've done that you'll need get need to get a few confirmation emails just confirm your, de your details and then you need to go over to members dot zero zero webhost dot com and log in with your email Uh, this is just a test account, so I don't, I don't mind if you see my details. I don't even mind if you come over and play with the Drupal installation that I'll be installing after this. So then you just log in, and you'll be presented with a list of your domains. If you're, if I'm assuming this is your first one, um, so. You, you just need to click go to cPanel. And then there will be the familiar uh, cPanel that is familiar to a lot of people. It's what a lot of hosting providers use. But to automatically install one of these advanced content management systems called Drupal, what we're going to want to do is go to the Fantastica installer, but it, it does offer you FTP information so that you can upload a standard site. Uh, but I just want to install a, a content management system. Actually, I'm going to install Drup WordPress. Um, it's it's a a popular blogging platform and it's supported by this so I want to do install on Tom W test WP Tom dot net 63 dot net and I don't want to have to go slash blog or anything like that so I'm not gonna put anything in this first field but if, if you wanted to that's where you'd put it um so I'm just gonna put the administrator there's Tom Rogers one two three, and then I'm gonna put the um, password as Drupal dude, even though I'm not installing Drupal. Again, I don't mind if you go on this just to see how well it works, because it's just a test site.
for you to use. And it's going to tell me it's been successfully installed. So now if we go over to um, my website, we can see that I have a fully functional blog. And this will work for any content management system. And But I'm just going to go over to the administration section of my site just to prove that it is all working. By the way, um, in the next video I'll show you how to get a .com domain name for free and how to pair it, pair, pair it with your um hosting account so people won't have to keep typing in dot net free dot net you can just have your own custom um domain name and pair it with this service to create your own custom free website so i'm just gonna log in here Just to prove that it is an actual website. So there you go, there's my admin page. And it's all working fine. So um, that's 00webhosting.com. It's a great place to get a free website. And don't forget, I'm going to be showing you how to get your own um, free TLD, that's top level domain, dot com, dot net, dot org, for absolutely free in the next video. So don't forget to tune in for that. Um, okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you subscribe to get more videos. Thanks for watching.